Hi, I'm Gregor and I'm working on the expense report refactoring kata. In the last episode, we created the first test skeleton. Our next step will be to add more tests to assist our upcoming refactoring. Wait, more tests? How about one big test, one big report that holds all the possible expenses and covers all possible cases? Should be easier, right? All I need to know is if it still works or not. And if it stopped working, I am just gonna revert. Whatever takes me quickly to this state where I can refactor safely is fine. Let's write down what cases or what expenses these tests would need to have. So first, of course we need to add all the expense types because we need to test all the expense types. And then for the expense types, what values are interesting? Here it says, if the amount is bigger than 5,000 in case of a dinner, there is a certain behavior. So probably I want to test the case where it is not bigger than 5,000 and where it is bigger than 5,000. So let me add one dinner 5,000 and one dinner 5,000 and one. What about the breakfast? The breakfast has the same, but with a limit of 1,000. So here I want to add a 1,000 and I want to add 1,001. And what about the car rental? So the car rental seemingly doesn't have a limit here. So I will just use some random number for the car rental. And since the other types have this limit, I want to make sure the car rental doesn't have a limit. So I will add a test for it where it tests it with integer max value. All right. I want to have that case covered in my test. I could add more cases like a, a number of zero or a negative number, but when I, when I look at this, I don't think this is important here. It doesn't add much value. So I think I'm really fine with, with, with those cases so far. And in the end, we can take a look at the code coverage. So let me create this test. So basically, I want to copy this test and we will create a big report, right? And now the report doesn't get an empty list. Instead, we want to create um, a list that has all these expenses. So let's create the expenses. How do I set this? Let's let me take a look um, at the expense. So the expense has a type and amount and just the field. So I will just say expense dot type equals dinner and expense dot amount equal 5000. Now this is my expense and I will add this to the list here. And since I want to add many more expenses to this list, I will extract this as a little factory method for my test. And I will allow the method to pass the type and to pass the value or the amount. And that makes it very easy for me to add more expenses to this list. So let me inline this variable and then 
have one line for each expense, which makes it really easy to read and add more cases. So then we have binary 5001, we have uh, breakfast with uh, thousand and thousand of one. Then we have car rental uh, and we have one car rental with 50 and one with integer max value. And that's our test. So I can remove the comment again. And I think we can run the test. So it shows me a diff because the test first failed and I have to approve the result. So let's take a look. We have dinner 5000, dinner 5001. It has this marker. Same with the breakfast, car rental. Doesn't have a marker. And we have the total. And we are in the minus yeah, because we are rocking over the limit of the integer and then it starts again in the negative area. So that's why we're negative here. But we don't want to fix that situation. We just want to test what the code currently does and what we want to describe this behavior, the current behavior of the code with this test, as this is a characterization test. So I will I will keep this and I will approve this. And whenever this is my result, the test is green. So let's run the tests again. And the tests are green. Run it again. Tests are green. It is consistent. So let me commit this. Test big report or cases. And I also need to commit my approved file because it is part of the test, right? Okay, and now I would like to check my code coverage, see if I covered all the lines so that I'm confident to start refactoring. For that, let me open the expense report again and let me run the tests with code coverage. For that, I will open those side by side again and run the test with coverage. So we, for this, we are really only interested in, in this window. We haven't covered this line, but that's fine. But all the other code is in the green, it's covered. So I think I'm now confident to refactor the code. I hope you liked the video and in the next one, we're going to start and refactor the code. I'm Gregor. See you next time.